Welcome, 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 Echo fans, to the first. Actually, I don't even know if it's the first. It's not the first. The first of the evening cast, let's call it. Um, worst versus Rendezvous. It is two diamond tier teams ranked number 32 and number 33. So uh, very should be a very highly skilled and close matchup. Obviously, some very skilled teams here. Uh, in the casting booth, I am Doc Education. On the cams is Newton Dad, and with me co-casting is Knight. Knight, uh, as these teams are readying up and going into the tubes, uh, anything you have to say? Yeah, I'm very excited to see these two teams play. They've been very close in the ranking so far as the teams come out of their tube, and looks like Orange is going to take... Oh, get stuns out, and uh, going to get back into their own zone as Knifey picks it up for, uh, for worst. Apologies, I had a little bit of a tech issue there. My my controller was uh, was not responding. So Ninja Happy picking up the disc and uh, with the assist by Next Tech. Uh, so immediately on the board is Rendezvous. Yeah, so two points already. 30 seconds into this first round, Ninja just dunking it in. The free goal is no no one able to get back in time to save that. So now uh, Worst now on Jalf's advantage, gonna see what they can do on offense. Let's see what they do, and it looks like Swan is going to handle the disc, pop to the ceiling, pass, looks to pass, but uh, take an unfortunate bounce. Jay Franzel will be able to handle it there. Knife Rich uh, moving up ahead uh, on the enemy pack uh, area, and it looks like Jay Franzel's not under any pressure, so we'll just slowly move it up. It looks like um, two in the goal, but that pass to Salty Crackers, and then immediately stolen by Scarborough. A good interception there from Scarborough. I able to read that enemy offense and just intercept the disc going down to to Pac-Man. Now the disc is floating into the orange bubble as Worst able to pick it up. Franzel with it on the wall. The stack coming in very fast. Not able to get the disc and it gets cleared into the quarter court. Yeah, so beautiful uh, pick up by Scarborough and Ninja Happy doing a little bit of a re-grab there. Next tech getting stunned out by Jay Franzel. So uh, will a uh, beautiful uh, set up to Salty Crackers who looks to clear it through but it doesn't quite make it and Next tech picks it up. Yeah, the weird geo there is Next tech uh, reads that bounce is it gonna take a reset pass to ninja taking the slow game here is ninja gonna look for his options loses the disc to a hand or something and they're gonna get it off to the wall before we picked up by salty salty just barely getting the disc off but not able to direct it ninja happy in the area but ninja happy will get stunned out by swan who will get stunned out by scarborough so a lot of brawling and disc changing hands in the early days next text with the disc uh, on the floor as uh, uh looks like uh, Sosax, uh, rather, on uh, the nest area, but not able to get a lot of heat on that one, and that was an easy grab. Yeah, the cut not quite going all the way across. The Salty going to clear this one all the way down as a stack race comes here. Rendezvous back first, and Scarborough going to pick it up and uh, juke in the floor here. Oh, the stuff from someone, the double stuff back. Jay Franzo with the bottom shot, the self pass getting intercepted by Scarborough, and Scarborough going to stop the one out. But Swan, the save from next tag into the shield. Jay Franzo with it now scoring for two, and they're all tied up here in the first round. Wow, just a couple of clears that didn't quite work out there for Rendezvous, uh, but some excellent defense nonetheless and excellent perseverance by Worst uh, to keep that disc moving forward. And so now it looks like it's a tie game uh, with seven and a half or seven minutes left rather as Rendezvous starts on their first offensive joust. A quick slap there from Ninja Happy, hitting that station and not getting all the way through. Now a little bit of a 3 on 2 here is uh, Knifey, the shot, the save from Ninja, and uh, not not able to get it out. Scarborough finally slapping the one out of zone as the stacks go to pick it up. Yeah, so some great defense already by Rendezvous, some incredible saves. Uh, but again, not able to quite clear it out. So giving Worst another opportunity here to do their worst. Swan on the ceiling, passes over to Franzel. Jay Franzel moving on the nest. Uh, Taking a little bit of time. Beautiful pass to Salty Crackers. What a pause that there by Jay Franzel. Could have gone, uh, you know, one on one on three against the goalie and two defenders, but elected to just hang out, look for that uh, pass on the backside, and then that was a beautiful finish by Salty. Yeah, Salty going behind the back on that one, going past the goal, and then opting to go for that backside of the goal and getting those two points for it worse. So now Next Tech with, with the opt uh, orbital drop there is sending down to Scarborough. Scarborough not able to get it out and stolen by Jay Franz. Jay Franz with the open goal and Ooh. missing by a hair is Salty Cracker now with it. He's going to opt to uh, take a shot and the save from someone. Don't know who that was as Next Tech looking to pick this one up. Yeah, don't give Jay Franzel those opportunities too often because he will hit them more often than not. So Rendezvous dodging a little bit of a bullet there. Not quite sure where that pass was headed, and it uh, looks like it'll be uh, in the hands of Worst. 
Yeah, we're just going to reset to goal there. As going to try to clear that one all the way downfield as it does. Might even bounce in. Is it going to be picked up by Scarborough with a great stun there and pressure? So Scarborough going to walk this one up through the tunnel. Hits off of the rim and hits off of the mid geo. So it gets stuck back in midfield. Yeah, oh, and Jake Franzel is right there, but Sosak's right back. Swan now losing the disc, and it looks like the disc will be cleared through into the blue bubble. The blue stack is there. Next Tech has it. The goal is open for a minute, and taking advantage of that opportunity is Next Tech. It's a tie game again. What a top pocket shot. Next Tech sees the goalie in the bottom of the goal and opts to shoot for the top of it, avoiding all the coverage, and the goalie was not able to jump as high as you know, humanly possible to reach that. So free points for them. It's a four to four with about four minutes left in this game as we head into the off, uh, offensive chest. Knife Rich with the disc, doing a little bit of uh, juking there. Passes over to Jay Franzel. Jay Franzel gonna uh, pass over all the way to the left side, but right there is Scarborough with the hit. Gonna take a shot oh. just a little bit too high, but right there is Sosax. It's a three. Yeah, what a pick up there from Sosax. Just able to pick up that rebound off the shield and put that in the cross pocket for the three. So rendezvous up by three, only four minutes left. Very, definitely a very close game. Super close game, but that is a big shot. Any three is big uh, just because, you know, now they, uh, Worst has to score a three in order to tie it. If they get a two, they're, they're still down. Uh, so, you know, th those threes are, are really big as, uh, you know, a lot of basketball analytics have shown us. Um, Salty Crackers trying to pass there, but off the right station, Jay Franzel picking it up. will pass back to Salty Crackers. Salty has Knife Rich open. Beautiful pass. Knife Rich going, oh, but Next Tech popping out of the goal and s with a great save. And next with the hands today, making a lot of great clutch saves as they're still going to hold that three-point lead as Ninja walks us through the tunnel, juking out that defender and going to cross that to no one, hopefully picked up by their own team. Next tech. Oh, doing a little bit of... Whoa! Maybe... Uh, not quite sure if they lost a handle or uh, lost lost tracking there, but there was a little bit of a pause. That was just enough time for the defense to get the stun out. Uh, so worst with a little bit of an opportunity right now. Knife Rich coming in. It doesn't need to touch it. It goes in from 45 meters. It's a tie game. What a bounce shot from Swan. Just goes all the way through Trench and in the goal. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Definitely could have been at this level. But uh, Knife Rich sees that with the direct trajectory and going to leave that one alone, saying, I want the three. It's all tied up now with three minutes left. All tied up with three minutes left. We got ourselves a three minute disc game here. Uh, Scarborough can't quite handle the pass, so Swan will be in the area, but getting stunned out. And Jay Franzel gets the disc, taps it right back to Swan. Swan, but immediately the pressure from Scarborough. So Scarborough with the disc now, and uh, that stack from worse comes together. So the disc will be loose a little bit there. Sosak's picking it up, passing it to Ninja Happy. Ninja Happy to Scarborough. Scarborough to next tech. Oh, what an incredible angle. That was a great shot over the head it was behind the back and over the head after that pass from scarborough what a great shot as scarborough um back in the midfield was putting on some great pressure on the def on the offense just keeping going back and forth between those two players are trying to pass it back and forth and got it out of zone so now uh worse now in offense knifey almost losing the disc and i send that over to swan Swan with the disc. Every goal is, is is huge right now as the time is ticking down. Uh, obviously, worse needing to score in order to tie it up. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, every goal right now is, is very consequential as Knife Rich knows it. Working along the right side, uh, elects to go off the shoulder. It goes high. Pass. Oh, wow. Salty Crackers with a little bit of distraction on the backside. Might have been just enough to distract the goalie. Knife Rich with a strike from above. Yeah, Salty Crackers is actually stunning the goalie out really early on, and Knifey just took that opportunity to put it in for two. So it's all tied up with a minute and a half to go. This is a very close game. Close game indeed. Let's see what Rendezvous does on their offensive jowl. Sosax picking up the disc, trying to make a pass, but uh, Ninja Happy not quite able to handle it, so the disc will bounce low, and it looks like on the backside, Salty Crackers is in the area and will haul it in. So uh, with a minute left, Worst is has a little bit of advantage right now, although immediately given back. No, they can't quite handle it. And the shot is long. Oh, just barely off the iron. That would have been huge. That would have been huge indeed. That probably would have ended that round all of a sudden. So Ninja now sending it all the way forward. Might even bouncing off the bottom. Not quite off that back backboard. Next tech with it getting stuffed by uh, Knife Your Rich. Knife Your Rich going to send that out to Next tech. Next tech with the shot. Oh, uh, the still self go off of the head. Two point difference. Wow. wow. So as good of a defensive play as that was by Knife Rich was kind of as 
not good of a clear, and that gave Next Tech the opportunity to get that disc. Still plenty of time here, though, with 30 seconds left for Worse to respond. Yeah, I thought it was a save off of Franzel's head, and then it slowly walked in as I realized, oh, wait, that's not all the way out. And so the two-point lead for Rendezvous is the disc is in their zone. So Ninja looking to clear that one out, and it does get all the way out. That might be the end of the round as it is getting stuck back in the zone. Franzel with it now. Going to hold this one. Going to want that one forward to Knife. And Knife going to send that one forward and up to Salty. Salty dips it low. Oh, but oh. it bounces. Oh, no. Oh, how unfortunate. But there's still an opportunity with five seconds left. Swan the Knife Rich. Knife Rich getting stunned out. Oh, wow. Wow. So that was, um, was it my eyes or was that one of the, uh, the glitches off the bottom of the ramp there? Yeah, um, I swear the last devlog, if you look, it says they fixed the, uh, the curvature of the trenches to fix that from happening, and uh, apparently not, as that this goes straight back off of the trench and uh, not towards the right path of the zone. So, um, fortunately, losing to a little bit of difficulties there. So, worst, not able to secure that last goal, and Rendezvous taking round one by two. Ooh. That's the kind of that's the kind of thing you know as a as a as a sports psychology moment um, uh, you gotta you gotta dig in and uh, oh I'm I'm realizing now is the time for our man Knight Knight what do you got for us? Um, so yeah, so I I was paying attention a little bit not as much as we had the co-cast as uh, JG unfortunately could not make uh, this cast, but I definitely did notice a lot of fast play from both teams and a lot of slow play as well at certain times. Rendezvous taking their time and just using a lot of pressure. Scarborough taking the, uh, excuse me, Scarborough was doing a lot of offensive, or sorry, defensive pressure on the offense in midfield and made Worst lose the disc quite a couple times and resulted in some turnovers and some goals even. Um, Worst, on the other hand, using uh, more of a kind of push ahead strategy and trying to set it forward as much as possible. And uh, it does work out for them sometimes, but occasionally they'll try to send it forward and that guy will be covered by someone from Rendezvous. Um, okay, so uh, looks like Roos are going to take this as a swan now, sending that one forward off of the ceiling. Franzo on the backboard, going to hold it a little bit, losing the disc, and Sosa now with it. Uh, also going to duck down and try to clear that off, and Nugget not going to get out. And Salty Crackers now with it, going to send that down to Knife and Rich. Knife Rich kept to Swan, Swan with the shot in the off cross pocket. What a shot there from Swan, and it's in for two. That was huge. That's exactly what Worse needed uh, to get over uh, a little bit of a, uh, a maybe a little bit of a bad feeling at the the end of that round. They they feel like they had a shot, uh, but um, you know, getting ahead in this round, that's the way to get back in the positive momentum. So now it's Rendezvous' turn to uh, you know, obviously early days, but uh, definitely uh, oh, Jay Franzel, cop hopping out, and Next Tech will get it now. Yeah, the shot in the mail slot there, Jay Franzel not able to connect is. He's missing a, quite a few more threes than I've seen him hit in pubs, so maybe a little bit of nerves here from the cast, but we'll see how that goes. Knife out to Swan. Swan juking around on the boot, doing some style points, sending it back to no one. Actually himself, going to send that over to Franzel. Franzel with the disc, passing over to Salty Cracker, so it's a full reset now. Back over to Franzel, has options right uh, and left, but both of them are, are uh, guarded, so Franzel will just go right in. Oh, wow, just off the iron. Swan with the rebound, over to Knife Rich. Knife Rich gonna have to do a little bit of work, but right there for the alley-oop is Jay Franzel. Yeah, the pickup there on the recovery from, who knows who, I think it was Swan who recovered that, sending it over to Knife, and Knife saw Franzel on the bottom of the goal, just be able to put that in for the alley-oop. So, Worst are up by four. Great start for Worst as they're heading to round two. Rendezvous now on their offensive joust, coming out, uh, haven't scored yet in round two. So, oh, and right there, Jay Franzel jumping out, Knife Rich, wow. And just like that, it's Worst with seven points in just the first two minutes of this round. I think Worst have found their groove as they are punishing Rendezvous for these short passes and holding onto the disc for too long. As Jay Franzel, instead of going for a mail slot, sends it over to Pac-Man and Pac-Man to the goal. So definitely a lot more teamwork here from Worst as they're up by seven. Up by seven, Ninja Happy almost getting stunned out by Swan. That would have been a disaster and probably uh, an easy two or maybe even three. Uh, so avoiding a, a little bit of a dangerous uh, play there, but right again, bouncing off the Geo. So Rendezvous a little bit out of sync as Swan gets the disc. Oh my God, I think that was going in. What a save from Ninja Happy. 
Yeah, the backwards flick there from J France trying to get some stat points on the board. Probably hoping there was no one in goal and that would they'll go in. But Knife, you're gonna slot that one forward to Swan now. Upside down on the ceiling for him and the floor for us. Gonna duck down to the the ceiling there and send that across to no one. Knife, you're gonna pick up the disc though. Knife back to Jay Franzel. Jay Franzel has Swan on the left pillar there. Uh, passes to Swan moving along the shield. Oh, can't quite make it. Was going for that right pocket, but it will be rebounded. Jay Franzel with the disc has Salty Crackers on the back line. Maybe can't quite get the pass there. Ninja Happy electing to cover, but all along the floor is Knife Rich coming up. And there's the pass to the backside. Wow. Yeah, what a pass there to Salty is Salty. Picking that up and in for two. Almost a dunk there, I believe, even though it says inside shot. Um, great dunk there from Salty. Is they're up by nine points? What a steamroll here in the second round. Absolutely, and we're not even just three and a half minutes in, so uh, rendezvous with plenty of time to respond. Although uh, they definitely have to, they can't do it like that. Swan with the open goal. Oh, that would have been absolutely devastating. Yeah, still so a second chance here from rendezvous. Uh, getting a lucky break even, and Salty in the back line, picking that one up, but so slow with the read. Gonna go all the way back downfield, and Ninja here with the chance as the stacks come back for Worst. Worst with the disc now, Jay Franzel passing over to the left side, Swan. Swan doing a little bit of a swan dive, and elects for the shot. That has a chance, but it'll it'll bounce off the, off the end of the ramp there. Knife Rich, oh, going for the backboard shot, he can't quite get it. Yeah, a little bit of an ambitious shot there from Knife. Definitely could have passed that back to anyone with the open goal, but Salty going to opt to back that out to Franzel. Franzel not going to pick it up, but there are no stacks from Rendezvous and still going to be picked up by Worst. So Jay Franzel in the area. Salty Crackers also in the area. Jay Franzel will get the disc and go backwards a little bit to buy some time. Passes over to Swan. Swan's on the ceiling. Passes over to Knife Rich. Knife Rich doing a little bit of a stun, uh, spin move, but getting stunned out by Ninja Happy and cleared through. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot more pub strats here from Worst as they're getting more and more fancy as they're gaining that lead and not as not as not paying off as much as it as it definitely could be, but um as Scarborough with the disc gonna send that one forward up to Sosa, Sosa with the chance over to next tag and next tag with the open goal, baiting that goalie out of zone and getting those free two points. Yeah, if there's one thing that we've seen, uh, you know, in VRML, especially at this high of a level, you do not want to give anyone the opportunity to come back. I mean, nine points is is not insurmountable by any stretch. And just like that, it's down to seven. So, uh, you know, one or two little uh, mistakes could could turn this game around. Yeah, definitely. The momentum here for, for Rendezvous is Rendezvous is now getting more coverage. As not many pass options are open, as Knifey almost missing that and getting stopped by Sosa. So Sosa here, gonna send that one downfield. Might even bounce in off the backboard, doesn't matter. Scarborough there, gonna put that one in for two and we're down by five. So just like that, after after a little bit of maybe some steez on the, on the offensive side, uh, Worst has now given up four points and that nine point lead has shrunk to five. So Worst definitely going to have to uh, kick it back into high gear here and uh, and score some points because I don't think nine I don't think nine is going to do it as far as this round goes. I think I think Rendezvous will score more than nine points. Yeah, definitely. We see a disconnect there from Worst. Not quite showing up on the scoreboard yet, but there is someone stuck back in their own spawn. So only three players from Worst here. Rendezvous has a chance to catch up with three minutes left in the round. So Franza with it does not care that they have three players going to juke around on floor. Send that across. To knife knife down to the floor salty with a chance off the post not quite in knifey with a recovery though I'm gonna send that across to franzel franzel getting stuffed by ninja ninja looking to clear this one out okay so here the disc goes it's cleared through next tech is flying but so is uh it looks like knife coming in oh passes to jay franzel that was that's dangerous but franzel will handle it uh pressured by two people does get the full clear but there's a stack on the backside for rendezvous and they immediately pick it up yeah, so that official disconnect there is one of the players did disconnect. Um, cannot pause, unfortunately, until the next goal is scored. So Skybar and Sosa going to dribble this one. Very small dribbles up field. She sent it to the floor. Now Sosa here on the floor going to juke on floor. Send up. Scarborough uh, not able to hit the, sorry, hits the trench there and goes straight up to the ceiling. So now Scarborough getting stunned out and no one picking up that loose disc. Yeah, uh, the defense having to, to, to go back and stay in the bubble right there. Next tech. Oh, what a save. Oh, what a grab. And so just like that, uh, there will we will see a timeout, uh, I assume, here um, uh, from Worst as they, they look to get their fourth player involved. But this lead that was nine points is now down to three and not safe at all. Yeah, what a great read there from 
uh, whatever player on worst made that save, but Next Tech does not care as they were not able to get out of his hands and Next Tech gonna steal that right back in for two. So Rendezvous definitely picking up, getting their game on, finding their groove is, yes, they have a player advantage, but they are definitely picking up their groove nonetheless. Yeah, they're they're passing. They 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 looks like they've settled down. I don't know what happened in the in the beginning part of uh, of round two. They they just looked a little just a little sleepy or uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Some some lazy passes that got that got jumped pretty easily, uh, honestly, by Worst. As we do see that fourth player for for Worst coming back, so we should uh, we should see a, a a restart on the on the timeout uh, pretty soon here. Yeah. So the second round. Three point difference. Rendezvous can bring this back. They can take it home in two, but only two and a half minutes to do so. As uh, hopefully we see an unpause here soon or later. It looks like one of their other players might have disconnected, is staying still. Uh, not sure I'm seeing from a very far distance, but hopefully we'll see this game get going soon. Yeah, this is, you know, this is part of it. Uh, early days still uh, for, for VR and. Um, Lots of players struggling with headsets disconnecting and uh, various internet connection issues. So uh, that's why we have uh, the the new new rules. As the, it looks like they did un unpause here, so we'll start in about five seconds here. And uh, let's see, you know, worst fans, rendezvous fans, uh, let us know in chat. Uh, you guys want to see a round three, or who wants to see rendezvous take it in two? See those predictions here coming up in chat. As a worse now gonna take offensive joust, um, and uh, knifey rich now with they gonna duck one and send it over to salty and salty gonna send that across. Some great passing here from worse as worse are picking it back up now. Pass to the ceiling uh, and Swan has to go backwards a little bit, but with a beautiful pass to salty crackers cruising in at about two meters a second, uh, and and puts a, a shot in at six meters, so pretty cash on the finish there. Yeah, Salty using the edges of his play space to grab that disc and tap it in for two. As now Worcester up by, uh, sorry, quick mass here, I think five points. As Sosa now grab, getting Whoa. stopped by someone that did a job on the back God. end. Wow, what a headbutt from Worst. Definitely not intentional, but uh, definitely helps nonetheless. So eight point difference here for Worst and only a minute and a half to go. Wow. Just like that, uh, I mean, that that is huge. Um, already up by five and now up by eight, but I mean, also just beautiful. And right oh. again, Swan flying in, uh, you know, and getting ahead on it. Jay Franzel oh. attempting the, the bounce pass. That would have been the nail in the coffin, but just like that, wow, what a what a joust from Swan. Yeah, I had, I had deja vu there. Is the bounce taking a very similar pass to the last one? I thought that was going in for another three. As a missed pass here from Worst, getting recovered by Knifey. And Knifey gonna send that up to Salty. Salty on the bow tie. They, they can definitely take their time. Time's already uh, too late for Rendezvous at this point to come back. Uh, so it's just a question of what the final score is going to be. There will be a round three. Swan trying to get the, the shot there. Can't quite make it. Uh, knife trying to pass but no one home jay Franzel picking it up doing a little bit of a flip and he'll put in for two and that'll almost end the round so yeah ronnie looking for some momentum points at the end of this round hopefully they can get some points on the board to help raise their morale for round three as uh, there's only gonna be about 12 seconds left on the board so hopefully some points can be scored for some team they'll definitely help for round three Yep, with 10 seconds left, I mean, they, they, they've they got to learn how to deal with that joust because uh, it really hurt them in the in the uh, latter part of round two. So even just avoiding that joust might be enough to, to get a little bit of momentum going. But yeah, just like that, uh, taking the round 16 to 6 is worse, tying the round uh, at one apiece and sending us to a third round. Yeah, definitely a change of pace here from round... Oh, excuse me, Mike. I bought my mic there. Uh, definitely a change of pace here from round one is worst. After getting that player back, definitely picked up the pace. It got pass after pass after pass. And just killing on those headbutts. Or uh, the the offense, the defensive joust and taking that disc away from, from Rendezvous. So Rendezvous not able to get a grip the, the last couple seconds. And not able to score any points. But um, definitely a another chance, another 10 minutes to come to bring it back. 
I mean, what a finish. Round two was, it was insane. Uh, worst coming in, taking a huge lead nine to nothing and then watching it whittle away to nine to six. I thought we were gonna have a game and then all of a sudden seven points by worst uh, off some really great steals with the headbutts on the joust. I mean, that, that is electric. Yeah, definitely. Um... I, I was not expecting that headbutt to go in. It gets kind of win against the wall. I'm like, okay, it's going to be there. So I'm going to hope someone's going to pick it up. And it was in the goal, and I <laughs> lost for words there. And did not know what to say as the disc was in the goal for three. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was looking right at the disc, and even I and, and the, the, the disc carrier there for, for Rendezvous, and I didn't even see Swan flying in. So uh, just moving at a very fast pace as these teams are about to do that again on the neutral joust. Let's see who gets ahead on it first. It's Jay Franzel and Salty Crackers, but Next Tech going to haul it in immediately under pressure, so has to give a back pass. Swan with the disc has options low and high, elects to go to low. It's gonna be Jay Franzel back to Swan. So round three starting very similar to round two with Worst taking the early lead. Yeah, very close headbutt there, barely coming away with it was Worst. And uh, next tech on the goalie, getting the block on the bully, um, but not able to get the save. So rendezvous now on offense. Rendezvous on their offensive joust. Let's see if Worst does the same strategy. Uh, looks like they tried, but not quite moving as fast. But fast enough. Swan getting a getting a grab on, getting the disc. Looks to pass over to Knife Rich, but not quite good enough. Knife Rich off the ghost. Will will back pass to Franzel. Franzel is looking to pass to Swan. Swan. Oh, with the bounce shot, almost, and cleared out. Yeah, definitely a couple shot opportunities here from Worst. A little bit of a trick shot too. So not all of them going close to target um that second one digging though as rendezvous is getting punished for holding the disc the long shot comes in uh don't know why that was going but next deck regardless saves it. it's getting bounced into uh worse zone tapped in by ninja happy so disc is still loose right now it looks like scarborough will get a handle on it first as the worst players uh go back into their bubble so passing low and oh next tech with the ding off the ring yeah, next deck with a good shot opportunity there. Definitely some more pass options as well. Ninja with the cross and the dunk from next tech. I thought it was going to Scarborough, but no, next tech gonna take that and Ollie with that for two. Great passing, uh, yeah, great movement by Rendezvous there with the with the uh, off the um, the clear from worse that didn't quite clear. So uh, you know, clearing is one of those skills that's a little bit underrated. Uh, you know, uh, teams don't practice it a lot, players don't practice it a lot, but uh, it's 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 crucial to get that disc out of your zone when you have the opportunity yeah it definitely is very crucial to get that disc out because if it stays in there's that much more of a chance that the other team picks it up because they're still in your zone as well but if it gets out of your zone then it becomes a skill uh, a, a skill a test of skill of stack of stacks excuse me rather than um where your teammates are at the current time so swan with it now crossing it over to salty and salty on the ceiling we're gonna cross i get stuffed but no not able to get it so franz are gonna pick up the loose disc Franzel on the cloud there, uh, looking to pass over to Knife Rich. Knife gonna pick it up and, oh, was looking to pass to Swan, but a little bit of a miscommunication there. Swan will be in the area and tap it low. It's gonna be a bit of a scramble. Knife picking it up with the pass to Salty, but intercepting is Scarborough and, and Scarborough clears. Yeah, Scarborough with a great read there on the back. He knew that the player was on the backboard, knew it was coming to him and came out and stole that one right from the uh, middle of the air, I should say, space. But uh, Ninja getting stuffed by Salty. Good stuff there by Salty. And now Salty going to send that one down. Might even bounce uh, close, but not quite as uh, getting stuffed. Again, Knifey now with it with the open goal. Takes the shot for two. Unfortunately, not letting go quite early enough. And uh, up by two is worst. Uh, that's uh, speaking of that's another skill that is very it's a refined skill of being able to hang along those that geometry along the bubble line like the pillar the shield the the shoulder area and uh, and keep the the release outside of that bubble those those three point shots are so huge and um, yeah it's it's difficult to do but uh, when you can uh, very good skill Jay Franzel passing over to Swan Swan has knife rich on the left side um, gonna do a little bit of work along the shoulder um, go in one on two. Oh, pings it off the ring. That would have been beautiful. Goes for style points, missing that dunk by a mile, and going back to Jay Franzel. Um, I remember the last time I had to do that, uh, make a three pointer off a shield, 
it was on on a venues match actually in season two toxin v barrage and i had the chance to tie it up with three and i took it on the shield and i let go just barely too late scoring in for two and we ended up losing by one point ah ouch that that hurts uh that hurts um but uh yeah uh sometimes uh sometimes it happens it happens all the time and knife rich flying in with a beautiful pass by jay franzel so uh you know they're they're now up by four yeah good pass there so worse nailing their passes now in this third round as they have found their rhythm and their groove it's their not not as much steamrolling but they're up by four points so not quite of a lead but still more of a, a heading than you could say Sosa with the disc now walking this upfield, getting stunned by Franzel. And Franzel gonna clear this one downfield. Might even bounce in, not quite. Is gonna get cleared down, and Franzel now gonna pick it up again. A little bit of a four on two here as Franzel walking it in. The goalie got stunned, not able to save it, so up by six. Up by six, uh, but again, just inside that bubble area. So it's worth two. Uh, so it's now eight to two. It, it could be 10 to two if if those two shots had been uh, outside the bubble. And, uh, you know, an eight point lead, obviously a lot, a lot bigger than a six point lead. Um, but, uh, you know, Rendezvous still has uh, the same uh, plan in front of them. They need to get their mojo back. And, uh, and get scoring here. Scarborough with the disc. Uh, some really nice passing going, but right there, what a beautiful steal by Swan. He's going to take a shot. Oh, just wide. Yeah, I thought I'd be seeing a lot more half courts in these diamond games, and I've not seen a lot of them. Maybe zero or even maybe one or maybe none in this game, but a lot of them going just wide or digging off the post as Franzel here. Getting stuffed by Next Tech. Next Tech getting stuffed by Swan, and Swan going to take this one in. Off the ceiling, almost bouncing in, and Sosa with the interception, gonna send that one to Franzel. Beautiful interception by Sosex, uh, and what, what a beautiful pass over to Swan. Swan doing a little bit of work, has Salty Crackers on the backside, goes for a, a, a backhanded shot, and uh, it's Ninja Happy getting the disc and sending it through. Yeah, a little bit more steez here from worse, as they are in the lead, so it made them fall apart last time, and... Um, so as here is next tech here in the enemy zone. Sosa with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. There's no stack coming back. Takes the pump fakes, puts it in on the right side for two points. Yeah. Um, wow. Sosa doing some doing some beautiful work. Uh, you know that's a very classic move uh, to go up and down and, and sideways uh, with the disc as you're going one-on-one -on -one against the goalie and then you know force the goalie to commit to one of those areas to stop and then throw in it in so uh, nice move by sosa uh, as the disc is now going to be right back in the hands of rendezvous so uh, from down six to now down four and uh, if they can score here they're right back in the game yeah scarborough gonna send that right to franzel franzel just gonna grab that and swan with the open goal taking it for three points that was a nice shot by Swan. Uh, you know, that's the kind of finish uh, on an open goal from 19 meters that you that you have come to expect uh, at this at this high level. And uh, Swan delivering right there, up by seven, now is worst. And that is a, a not insurmountable, but definitely sizable lead. Knife Rich picking it up, going mail slot, just a little bit wide. Swan gonna pick it up. Oh man, uh, just a little bit of a flick there, and uh, he's gonna want that one back. Yeah, some more steel shots here from Warris as they are up by a lot, as they have every right to take them, but they, it isn't paying off for them. They're missing almost every quarter court. The shot here, almost going in, not quite, as the disc gets cleared out the quarter court. Yeah, and that miss is huge. That would have changed everything. That would have brought this game from seven to four points. And, uh, you know, uh, this is the clock is winding down now. Two minutes left. Still time. Uh, but definitely Rendezvous has to do a little bit of work. Um, Jay Franzel now doing some work. And what a save there. Yeah, the easy bounce shot off the backboard. Easy save from Sosa. The, the downward shot. Not quite going in. Knifey going off the shield. Good save from Next Tech in the hands today from Rendezvous. As Ninja looking to clear this one up. Is Next Tech going to grab that, send that one down? Send it down. The stacks are together. A lot of players in the area. Jay Franzel getting the disc and clearing it out, though. Sosa on the back line, just barely outstretched, manages to get it. Passes over to Ninja Happy. Ninja Happy to Scarborough. Scarborough has Next Tech open, but right there is Swan. Yeah, what a stop from Swan, and that'll do it. 
Worst taking it out of mathematical time, putting in three to put insult to injury, and Franzel gonna put it up by a 10 point lead. That will seal the deal as far as the game, the round and the game goes, although, uh, you know, still time to play, and uh, we have come to expect games to be played to the last second. Uh, it's one of the things I really enjoy about this league uh, is, you know, you get to see even amazing shots like what we just saw, even though the, the game was probably right over, and Jay Franzel coming in with the steal and getting two more points on the board. Yeah, Ninja Happy trying to... You got Franzel there for um, some some last minute confidence there, but Franzel just gonna take that from him and say, nope, that is mine, sir. Thank you very much, and put two more points on the board. So just like that, with 10 seconds left, very likely the last score that we'll see, although Rendezvous pushing it, uh, the disc is in the orange zone, and it will, yeah, the clock will run out. Uh, Jay Franzel tapping it out. So a fantastic match that we just saw three rounds. Um, rendezvous taking round one, worst coming in and dominating rounds two and three, taking round two, 16 to six, and round three, 16 to four. Yeah, round one was definitely more of a warm up for worst. And I think losing their player in round two, I believe, um, and coming back regardless, but they definitely found the groove after that disconnect. They put on the pressure, put on the points, and came back in that reverse sweep. Beautiful work and um, a lot of um, a lot of saves on the on the part of Rendezvous. You see Ninja Happy with seven, Sosa with five, Mextech with three, and Scarborough with two. Um, so you can see from that and the attempts, Worst had 74% of the attempts. So you know that's three times the number that. That rendezvous had even though with the incredible defense that rendezvous had um, just not able to get the clears a couple of times and uh, just giving a, a, a few a few too many opportunities to worst yeah so um upcoming games here um uh, answer someone's question in chat so uh dog education here and then along with sputnik cover will be casting reaver versus adrenaline on echo arena master league one and then uh, that's 7.30 Central, by the way, 8.30 um, Eastern. And then there's also, um, I believe, another match being casted um, on other channels as well. But at 8.30, uh, my time, or 9.30 Eastern, I will be casting a match with Kit and the JG on, e on Echo Arena Master League 2. So a lot of great action for you. Um, with that, I'm going to transfer to uh, VRML1. It's been an absolute pleasure to cast with Knight. Uh, casting uh, in the in the booth with me and also uh, on the cams is Newton Dad. Uh, so thanks a lot, you guys. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and thanks to everyone in the chat for for hanging out and enjoying the streams. And we are hoping to see you all soon. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net.